The debt ceiling is a limit on the total amount of money that the United States can borrow to fund the government and meet its financial obligations. It was created by Congress in 1917 and is also known as the debt limit or statutory debt limit. The debt ceiling does not authorize new spending, but rather allows the government to pay for programs that have already been approved by Congress. The debt ceiling is important for the EU and global economy because it affects the creditworthiness and stability of the EU. Government, which is the world's largest borrower and issuer of bonds. If the EU fails to raise or suspend the debt ceiling before it runs out of cash, it could default on its debts for the first time in history. This could have severe consequences for the EU and global financial markets, such as higher interest rates, lower bond prices, reduced investor confidence, and increased volatility. The EU reached its current debt ceiling of $31.4 trillion on January 19, 2023, and has been using accounting maneuvers known as extraordinary measures to continue paying its bills. However, these measures are expected to run out by June 1, 2023, according to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. This means that Congress needs to act soon to either raise or suspend the debt ceiling to avoid a default. However, raising or suspending the debt ceiling has become a contentious political issue in recent years as some lawmakers have demanded spending cuts or other policy changes in exchange for their support. President Biden has said he will oppose any attempt to tie spending cuts to raising the debt ceiling, increasing the likelihood of a protracted standoff. The president is set to meet with Republican and Democratic leaders at the White House on Tuesday to discuss a path forward. The last time the U. faced a similar situation was in 2021 when Congress reached a bipartisan deal to suspend the debt ceiling until July 31, 2021, after months of negotiations and brinkmanship. The deal also included spending caps for two years and a budget agreement for fiscal year 2020. However, some experts have warned that this time could be different and more difficult, as the political climate has become more polarized and unpredictable. In this section, we will summarize the main points of the potential debt ceiling deal between Biden and McCarthy, such as unspent COVID-19 money and energy permitting reforms. The debt ceiling is the legal limit on how much the federal government can borrow to pay its bills. If Congress does not raise it by June, the U. could default on its obligations, which would have severe consequences for the economy and global markets. President Biden and Speaker Kevin McCarthy have been holding talks to reach a deal on raising the debt ceiling and avoiding a default. They have appointed a small group of officials to lead the negotiations, including Shalanda Young and Steve Ricchetti for Biden, and aides to McCarthy. Two possible areas of agreement that have emerged are unspent COVID-19 money and energy permitting reforms. Biden has signaled that he would consider clawing back some of the funds that were allocated for pandemic relief but have not been spent yet, as Republicans have proposed. This could free up some money for the government to pay its bills without increasing the debt. Another potential compromise is energy permitting reforms, which could speed up the process of approving oil and gas projects on federal lands. Republicans have argued that this would boost economic growth and generate more revenue for the government while Democrats have said they are open to streamlining the process as long as environmental standards are maintained. These two proposals could be part of a package that would raise the debt ceiling for a short period of time, such as until the end of the fiscal year on September. 30. This would give lawmakers more time to negotiate on federal spending and other issues. However, there are still many obstacles and disagreements that could derail a deal. Democrats want to raise the debt ceiling without conditions, while Republicans want to tie it to spending cuts or other reforms. Both sides have accused each other of playing politics with the nation's creditworthiness and risking a default. It is unclear whether Biden and McCarthy will be able to reach a deal before the deadline, or whether they will need to resort to other options, such as invoking the 14th Amendment or minting a $1 trillion coin. These are unconventional and controversial ideas that could face legal challenges or public backlash. The stakes are high for both parties and the country as a whole. 
A debt ceiling deal could boost confidence in the EU economy and the global stock market, while a default could trigger a recession and a financial crisis. The debt ceiling is the legal limit on how much the US government can borrow to finance its spending. If the debt ceiling is not raised by Congress, the US Treasury will run out of money to pay its bills and obligations, which could trigger a default on its debt and a financial crisis.